One second. Is my screen is visualized all of you, please? Is it clear? All of you, all of the students, is my screen is visualized? Can you reply in the chat box, please, all of you? Yeah. So for implementing, for implementing, for implementing, for implementing this CI CD process, CI CD process, continuous, continuous integration, making working software and continuous delivery, we are going to be using, which are all the tools, Git we are going to be using, Maven, Maven Git is a version control, Maven is a build tool, Jenkins as an automation tool for implementing Jenkins itself, CI, CD, the continuous integration, continuous delivery will be implemented. Gen JFrog is a active factory. In JFrog, we are maintaining a build repository, stable builds we are maintaining. From here itself, we're gonna be placing our applications on hundreds of services, and we're gonna be using Sonar Cube. Sonar Keep is a code analyzer by helping of Git, Maven, Jenkins, JFrog, Sonar Cube. We can able to implement CSED. Once if it is an implement CSED, we're gonna be delivering our applications on hundreds of servers, hundreds of servers, hundreds of servers. How exactly we can automate these hundreds of servers by helping of Configuration management. What is an exactly configuration management? Replacing a manual process with what? An automated process, which you are calling as what? Configuration process. But the configuration management is supported by Ansible. Ansible is a configuration management tool. But these hundreds of servers from where exactly we can able to get it from Microsoft servers. So we can deploy our hundreds of, we can deploy our application or websites on hundreds of servers by helping of Ansible. Okay. But not only deploying, not only placing our websites on servers, we can deploy on Docker containers also. We can deploy our applications on Docker containers also. These Docker containers, we can able to manage or control by Kubernetes. And we're going to be learning Vagrant. Vagrant is a virtual provisioning tool. By helping of Vagrant, by helping of Vagrant, we can able to create a virtual machines very easily in your laptop. And we're going to be learning Negios. Negios is a system monitoring. And uh, LK is an application monitoring. Terraform is a Terraform is a infrastructure automation tool. By helping of Terraform, we can able to create infrastructure at AWS, Azure, or any cloud. So by helping of these are all the tools: Maven, Git, Maven, Jenkins, JFrog, SonarCube, Ansible, Microsoft Azure, Docker, Kubernetes, Vagrant, Negios. Elk and Terraform. So by helping of these are all the tools, we can able to implement a, an automated DevOps transparent pipeline from dev environment to operations. So, and moreover, we are going to be implementing this as an as Azure DevOps pipeline also. We are going to be implementing, these are all the tools we are going to be using in Azure DevOps pipeline. Also, we want to be using. Got it. So we understood very clearly how to implement an automated process with uh, Azure pipeline, which are all the process, what pro what kind of stages we have, what exactly roles and responsibility, which are all the tools we're going to be learning for implementing Azure DevOps pipeline. We understood so very clearly, but, but while implementing this, while implementing this Azure DevOps pipeline, we required infrastructure. We required a Infrastructure. Tell me what is infrastructure? What is infra? 
what is infrastructure infrastructure is nothing but what okay first of all let me clarify with me what is an application as we discussed in the beginning of the session what is an application anybody help me application is nothing but what application is nothing but what a website the working software which is written any programming language we call it as what website repeat what is an application the working software which is repeated which or the working software which is written any programming language we are calling as an application that application we're going to be placing on server side then we can access our internet but the question is here is for maintaining this application okay what kind of infrastructure is required it might be servers it might be network and uh, a database storage and next these are all major infrastructure is required these are all major infrastructure is required for maintaining a flipkart kind of applications got it for example to conduct a, a devops class what kind of infrastructure is required maybe chairs tables fans ac my laptop projector internet connection zoom meeting these are all infrastructure is required without this infrastructure can able to can able to maintain my class can able to conduct this devops class no the same way to maintain a flipkart kind of application what kind of infrastructure is required yes majorly this infrastructure is required majorly this infrastructure is required Got it. But question is, how many ways we can able to get this infrastructure? How many ways to get infrastructure? We can able to get it either from physical environment, virtual environment, or from cloud. Or from cloud. So, so, for maintaining this application, we require this infrastructure. This infrastructure, we can able to get either physical form, virtual form, or from cloud. But why? But tell me, what is an exactly cloud? And to specifically, what is a cloud computing? What is an exactly cloud computing? So if we can access, if we can access the remote placed resources over internet from your laptop is nothing but what? Cloud computing. Let us understand this. So to, uh, before move forwarding into the HR to understand. So one thing we need to discuss first. What is the, what is the server? What is the data center first? The use computing power keeping in a rack wise in a big room we calling as a data center. The use computing power keeping in a rack wise in a big room we calling as a, a data center. We calling as a, a data center. These data centers are located in different geographical locations like in Singapore, like in UK, US, in India, Mumbai, Sydney, in Australia. In so many places, these data centers are located. Okay? From anywhere else in the world, from any database, any, any data center, we can access the resources, what kind of infrastructure we require. We can able to get it from anywhere in the data, anywhere in the world, from any data center, we can able to use. 
how exactly we can able to control how exactly we can able to access those resources over a internet and a virtual form is nothing but what cloud computing is nothing but what cloud computing yeah what we have discussed please repeat one more time the remote placed the remote placed resources such as servers network storage databases if we can access our internet from a laptop is nothing but what cloud computing any cloud is a rental based infrastructure either we can buy we can buy servers we can buy servers and we can maintain the service and use it or else so get a rental service and then use it and pay rent then pay rent so which is easy for you please so repeat the question listen very carefully so for maintaining a flipkart kind of application we require this kind of infrastructure either servers and network storage databases but this infrastructure you can able to get it two ways either you can buy your own and you can able to maintain that is the first option second option is what and we can able to get it as a rental and based on uses we're going to be parent which is easy for you please build the news and select the news which is easy for you definitely select the news only so to understand this point i'll give one more uh, good example i'll give good example you can understand very easily you want to go to railway station from your home you want to go to railway station from your home You want to go to railway station from your home with your car, with your with car, with car, with car. How many ways we can able to get a car? Either you can able to buy a new car. That is the first option. Second option, you can book a air Ola, Rover, rental car also, which is easy for you. Just for reaching a railway station, are you going to buy? Are you are you buying a new car or else book a rental car? What is the answer in the chat box, please, all of you? Just for reaching a, just for reaching for a station, are you buying a car or book a rental car, which is easy for you? Can you reply in all of you please in the chat box? Definitely rental car. Definitely rental car. Rental car the same way. So just for deploying a Flipkart kind of application, are you are you going to buy a server or a a rental server rental server but so from where exactly we can able to get rental servers from cloud from cloud only we can able to get it this get it this from our cloud from our cloud but clouds are two ways we can able to use we can able to get a two ways one is first one is what deployment model Cloud is a first one is what? First option is what? Deployment model. Second option is what? Service model. So let us try to understand. So what are all the cloud models? First model is what? Deployment model. Second model is service model. First, we're going to be focused on deployment. Deployment is nothing but what? First of all, let us understand what is the deployment. Placing our website on a server side. I'll repeat. Whatever we're writing lines of for the software, we're going to be placing on server side is nothing but what deployment placing on where exactly placing on cloud servers cloud uh, infrastructure how exactly the uh, again so deployment the cloud models of deployment models are four types one is first one is what public listen public private community hybrid totally we have a so four types of deployment models four types of deployment public means what so whatever we are placing a website the infrastructure either ram cpu hard disk the server network whatever maybe it will be shareable to the multiple websites whatever application we place the infrastructure will be shareable with what multiple websites we can place our multiple websites on a same resources same ram same cpu 
But private is not like that. Specific RAM, specific resource, specific CPU, specific server, and specific uh, thing to dedicated uh, infrastructure to my application. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to be start a financial business. For that, I want to place my application on a specific resources which can't be shared to anyone. That definitely it will be go for private on. The combination of the combination of private plus public is nothing but a hybrid. For example, so my database servers and my on-premises data center. But public, uh, public servers, maybe application servers on cloud. So the combination of your own data center with cloud service, we're calling as what? Hybrid. I'll repeat. Your own, your own servers plus cloud service. The combination of these two, which you are calling as what? Hybrid. So community is like a private community just like a private but it is more secure so private is secure but compared to private community is more secure but where when you are using this community maybe it is in special purpose like dr devotion is on nasa those kind of people they can able to come to this community yeah so i'll repeat one more time for understanding public means what so whatever the resources publicly so n number of applications on a same resource a dedicated ram dedicated resources for an application the combination of public place private we have a hybrid so compared to private community is a more secure that that is what exactly deployment mode what about service models service models are totally three types in cloud any cloud totally are three types then. so one is first one is what sas sas pass IIS. SaaS means what? Software as a service. PaaS means what? Platform as a service. IIS means what? Infrastructure as a service. So let us try to understand this role. Let us try to understand this role first. So AWS, sorry. Azure service models. Let it be open in the Google, the diagram which we can explain very clearly. So please be open any one diagram. Cloud models, which are all the models we have. Is not clear, please wait. Yeah, listen. So these are all the cloud models which we have. So please listen very carefully. Two types of clouds here. So first of all, you have an application. We have an application. Maybe Java application. The lines of code, whatever we have, a lines of code. Java application. So to maintain, to place, what kind of things is required? So network is required first. Then storage is required. Then server is required. Virtualization required. Operating system is required. Middleware required. Runtime is required. Database is required. And finally, the software is required. So with this role, with this role infrastructure, first we have to build a network and storage. Then server virtualization operating system, middleware, Java runtime, database like Oracle database, Java application, okay? By helping of these are all the things only, we can able to maintain our application and we can access our internet as a website like Flipkart or Amazon. These are all the things is required. We understood very clearly. But how we can get it? We required a car. I agree. We required a car. But how are we getting a car? Either you can buy a car or a rental car. The same concept here also. So, Either you can able to maintain, you can buy your own way, you can maintain or else get it from the cloud. So whatever I'm going to be, whatever we're going to be, so it is a blue color, whatever I mentioned, blue color is for what? It is managed by you. It is managed by, managed by cloud itself. So this, a green color is managed by the cloud. Got it? So whereas blue color managed by you, whereas blue color, whereas blue color managed by you, whereas green color managed by the cloud. 
please keep in the mind so what is the saas please software as a service so cloud offering three kinds of services three kinds of services one is software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service totally we have a three kinds of service models we have but on premise is your responsibility is it is belongs to you not by cloud fine fine so for example you required a one application do some business but you don't have anything let us go to the go to the cloud everything is responsible with the cloud no need to ever no need to worry about they just you want to choose a service use it and pay the rent that's it so uh, a network storage net, a server virtualization operating system middleware runtime java runtime database and software also it is responsible by providing by the azure itself cloud itself not by you you not not do anything so you have to go to the cloud choose an option and click on submit button that's it no need to worry about and whatever the use is you going to be pay rent that's it got it understood like for example microsoft like ms office like a uh, sap kind of service like a jenkins kind of services some softwares we can able to get it from cloud also but or else second option is what platform maybe java platform maybe you want to develop your own application you have a team dev team and you have to build your own setup and we can able to uh, you can able to develop your own own style of application you have to build your own java application you want to build your own database but for that to maintain we required a network storage servers virtualization serv operation operating system middleware runtime this is everything we going to be take a support from cloud just our team is going to be build a application software and database then this application and database which we are going to be it's going to be placed on cloud services the combination of these two which you are calling as what flat from as a service we have to build an application and we can able to place on so we don't want to run time and we don't install java not required we don't want to choose an operating system which operating system windows linux red hat nothing so virtualization is there server is there store is there, not required just you want to have an application directly we have a upload option of exactly uploading resume in an okri same way you have to upload java code that's it everything is responsible by the azure itself not by anything no need to choose anything no need installation nothing but whereas infrastructure is not like that okay you have to build your own java application you have to build your database and you have to install your own you have to install which operating system uh, which which or java version 11 or 11 12 or 17 which java version we have to choose and middleware what are the middleware operating system whether you go for red hat machine whether you go for uh, linux machine whether you go for windows machine we can able to choose but but a networking storage servers virtualization we can able to take a help from cloud okay so we have a totally three models in the cloud one is what infrastructure as a code platform as a service and software as a service but on premises means what it is belongs to our own and cloud is not responsible everything is our responsible by us before cloud before cloud we are part of this but after cloud we are shifting into this I hope you understood very clearly service model. So up to this point, we are understand what is a cloud, why we are shifting into the cloud, and cloud models are two types: deployment models and service models. But which cloud we gonna be using? Either AWS or Azure, Google. These three are leading cloud providers in the market. But which cloud we're going to be learning in our classes? Microsoft Azure. Why Microsoft Azure? Because of it is a five times cheaper than AWS. And we can able to save a license if we have already. And as most of the companies are moving into the Microsoft Azure. Why? Because it is a cheaper and secure. So by helping of Microsoft Azure, it is the second largest cloud service provider. And we can able to get a various services like computing power, storage database network which we can able to get it from microsoft azure it is a pay as a model it is a pay as a model which are all the services guys please tell me compute model network model service storage database active directory management ad iam these are all the models which we are going to be discussing in our hr but at each and every model we're going to be discussing a lot of services like 
virtual machine. So what uh, scale set? These are all things. And don't worry, I'm gonna be giving a uh, this whatever content list. So please go for that. Okay. So under each and every model, so many services which we are gonna be discussing under network, under computing, database, storage. We're gonna be discussing a lot of things. A lot of things which we are gonna be discussing. How exactly? Let us try to understand one by one, please. Please wait. So how many models, guys, please? Compute model, network model, storage model, database model, and identity access model. But if you want an access directly, can able to access? No, first we should understand Azure core architecture. We are using, these are all the models and directly we can, no, but if you want to, if you want to get the kind, get the those kind of services, we have to understand Azure architecture. In Azure architecture, totally, totally we have a three layers. So it is a front end layer, middle layer and back end layer. Totally we have a three layers. Front end means what? How you are interacting with Azure. Either you can go for portal, GUI, pre internet, PowerShell or CLI or ST client. Once if it is in accessing, it will be authorization, whether you are a valid, valid login, valid credentials are you providing, it will be validated. Once if it is validated, we can create a database, we can create a web, a web app services, web apps, or else virtual machines and network, and we can able to create a, so many services. So many services. Let us try to understand one by one for today. So let us go for front end. Yeah, front end, we have a totally four types. Of one is so GUI we can like a web interface, how exactly Flipkart, Amazon, the same Azure also we can. PowerShell, we can open a PowerShell, we can execute a command, create a server in Azure and CLI. See, by executing CLI command, we can able to create infrastructure in our Azure cloud and rest can. If you have a programming skills like .NET, Java, .Python, yeah, we can write a program, execute a program, create a server in Azure. So then once if it is done, so authorization, yes, please. So whether you are, for example, let's say I'm going to be getting into the cloud. So how exactly we can, so it is a R Azure portal. It is a front end, but how exactly it will be an authorization by helping of your credentials. Once if it is an access, then we can able to create our virtual missions. So this is an exactly our GI front end, front end portal. So it will be our second layer is what authorization. Then we can access our resources like our virtual missions. Got it is very clearly. But finally, which we are creating what exactly? We're creating what? Our resources like virtual machines, network resource, whatever. I hope you understood very clearly our core architecture. Once if you are getting into that, once if it is getting into the, by providing your Azure portal, once if it is an authorization, if we can, we are, we can able to create a virtual machine. So once if we can able to create it, we can able to create n number of services and number of services. How exactly we can, which are all those guys, please? Which are all those guys, please tell me. So we can able to get computing for networking, storage, database, AD, active directory, all those things. In computing model, virtual machine, function app, service app, AKS, a networking model, network, virtual networking, load balancing, application gateway, DNS, CDN in storage model, blob storage, file storage, table storage, queue, st queue storages in database, SQL database, Cosmo DB in identity access management, and how to manage your account, Azure account. These are all the things which we are going to be discussing. I hope you people are understands very clearly what is an exactly, what is an exactly Azure, what is an exactly DevOps. Tell me what is a DevOps guys, please tell me. DevOps is a, an automated, a transparent pipeline. While implementing this DevOps transparent pipeline from Dev Environment Operation, 
make sure we have to deliver the working software within a shortest time with high quality, with low cost, with low failure rate. But for implementing this, for implementing this DevOps and automated process, we required infrastructure. We required a infrastructure. That infrastructure, we can able to get it from where exactly? From cloud, which cloud? Azure. I hope you people are understands very clearly what is in Azure, what we can able to get it on top of. So we're going to be implementing an automated process by helping of DevOps. I'll repeat one more time for understanding. Azure, we using, by using Azure infrastructure, by using Azure, we can able to get a, what kind of infrastructure we can able to get it, this infrastructure. On top of it, we're going to be placing our website. While placing our websites, we have to implement an automated process, that an automated process, which we are following DevOps, either direct DevOps or Azure DevOps pipeline which we are going to be using both okay that is what exactly for today's session guys please before asking before taking your questions let us revise one more time our course overview please totally it is around five months plus duration in this five months plus duration so complete azure devops complete azure administration these two courses will be covered so uh, who can join in this course guys please Linux basics and shell script, these two will be covered. No programming skills like Java, .NET, Python is not required. If you have already, it's very good. But uh, no programming. Yeah. So you require a laptop with this minimum configuration for daily practice. And then who can join in this course? Yes, freshers can join in this course. Experienced students can join in this course. And any graduates can also join in this course. Any graduates can also join in this course. So daily class recording videos after the payment via Google Drive, we can access. From date of registration, you are going to be accessing up to 11 months. And resume preparation, entry question and answers for live real-time projects, I'm going to be helping with you. And 80% software materials also I'm going to be providing. Our course starts with very basic level. Finish with what advanced level. Each and every class is a practically implemented in front of you that you need to practice in your laptop every day. So daily one hour class, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The classes are Monday to Saturday. The class Sunday is a completely holiday. You are going to be paying 10,000 rupees for complete DevOps, complete Azure, complete uh, for uh, daily recordings. So please talk to this our admin for recording. Uh, links and recording sessions or any kind of uh, admin kind of question, please call this number or else you can WhatsApp us. This is in exactly our course content. Like if you copy paste in any browser, you can able to see my document list. What I'm going to be covered in DevOps uh, in Azure, you can see that. I will I will be I will be share this link in the chat box. And one more thing, and yesterday we understood Azure uh, DevOps. Today we are understood Azure. But tomorrow onwards, we're going to be start regular session. Please, I'm requesting. If anybody interested, seriously, yeah, please be done the registration, do the payment, and we'll continue by tomorrow. And uh, uh, that is what exactly my end. So I'm going to be share this information in the chat box. Please be continue by tomorrow. Okay, just to be double click, you can open my document list. And further clarification related phases and everything, please call to our admin. And you can WhatsApp also. Fine. So any questions? Yeah, I'm expecting questions from you. Uh, Ram, please wait. I will talk to you. First, let me clear the chat box question. Then I'll come to you. So, guys, please. Any questions? So, Srikanth asked this question. Is this cover Azure, covered Azure solution architect concept? Yes, obviously, you can. Uh, Sriram asked this question. I want to work on Azure security, yes. We will we will be discussing Azure security more than two weeks, one more more than more than one and a half week. Hands. Course duration will be five months. Yes, yes. Venkat Ram Ramana, the course duration is five months because of two courses. Okay. So DevOps will be three months. Uh Azure will be two months. And totally two plus five, two plus three, five months. I want to take only Azure full course. Uh uh, it is a combo package serum, it is a combination of both. Okay, we can't be separate here because of, you know, Linux, Shell script, Azure, complete, Azure, complete Azure administration, DevOps. 
okay whatever may be you have to pay the full amount and you have to acquire both knowledge but talk to admin or call me personally i will help you how is it work out okay sriram thank you uh still any questions please any chat box questions that i yeah, so Venkat Ramana asked this question. Are you teaching complete DevOps tools? Yes. yes. Completely DevOps tool. That's what we're going to be spending three months of duration for DevOps. Each and for example, Docker and Coconut. We're going to be spending one month. Ansible one month. CACD one month. Completely. Yes. Okay. Practically I'm explaining in front of you. That you need to practice in a laptop by following recordings. Ramana, That's what is taking time. Okay. Fine. Still any questions? Add bus question. Ram, your question, please. So you can ask this question after this course. Can we also play? Yeah, yeah, we can. After solution job, yes, we can. Ah, please. Ram. Yeah, Actually, I just want to check like, uh, so this, uh, this will be for how many, like three months or two months? Uh, uh question please again. the total duration please please question please again total duration is five months five months yes. because of oh. completely three months for azure devops itself azure so uh, basically you start with azure devops or azure Admin? Combo. it's a combo it is combo it is will cover linux shell script complete azure DevOps. Yeah, I understand that. But so first you uh, you start with basics, is it? Shell, uh, Linux uh, basics. The Linux and then will be start definitely, but it's a combo. It's, it will be covered all together. It's a sequence, one class. Because per five months, it's, uh, I think it's uh, too much, I think, right? Uh, what do you think? Because for example, for example, for example, for example, to understand this, agree, I agree too much. But uh, let's say, so, for example, Ansible itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say Docker and Kubernetes also, for example. Let's say. So, to understand Docker and Kubernetes and uh, do practical each and every concept for every every day, every exercise. And then while do one, one project of this, it will take one month. Okay. Okay, that is one thing. Okay, ants will also be gonna be discussing writing a playbooks almost two weeks and every day writing a playbook on by using AMLs. We have to discuss about AML, how to write a playbook, and we have to understand all the concept Ansible. By end, we'll implement one project. Definitely will take one month. Okay, I understand, but uh, I think uh, the course will be completed by end of this year, I guess. <laughs> it is five months very less because of one one more t trainer is my institute. It will take one year and four months. Are. Which one? When another trainer is there, they will take one year. Oh. Okay. okay. Fully DevOps. I'm talking about. Okay. So think about okay, it. No, it's, okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What, whatever uh, we can be. So maybe you are going. Uh, you are going uh, in detail. I think right. In detail, but you know, for example, let's say. So we can complete, for example, Ansible within two days also. Okay. Okay. We can complete one week in Docker and Kubernetes within uh, one week also. CACD filter hardly one week. We can do that like also, but it is not like that. So once if you see the syllabus, then you can understand why we are spending five months and why it is effect. You know, it is definitely, you know, it will take time. I think it is my opinion, it is very less duration. Very, very less duration in my point of view. Okay. If we have a chance to teach one more two months, if it is increased, very better for it will help you for students. That's what run. It will be benefit by the student. For example, if it is reduced the duration three months, if it is complete two months, who will benefit it, me or you? <laughs> Okay. Any other questions, please? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Any other questions, please?
yeah yeah so thanks thanks a lot will be, will be continue thank you will be continue by tomorrow three can please what is the question uh placement assistant is there don't worry Okay, we'll, we'll continue but tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, Srikant, please. Are you covering from in the project point of view? Are you covering like uh, upgrading upgrade projects or compromise to cloud? Are you covering anything in the project? We are using like, you know, projects like, you know, Groovy script we are using. Okay. Groovy script we are using, but uh, we'll implement a uh, CACD pipeline. In the CACD pipeline, we're all using, we're all together. These are all whatever explained, these are all tools we are using. So, we cover like a compromise uh, uh, system we need to know. I think so. We are, we are not using this. No, but in the market, coming projects are like the compromise to the upgrade to cloud. Okay. We will we'll try to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot of you. We'll continue.